guys, welcome back to SA Homestead. Today I'm just going to give you an update on my aquaponics system because I've expanded it. I've installed a much more efficient system and you can see behind me this is my old system that I had and I decided to expand it and this was almost my trial run and I used it just to show me what I should do next time in order to do, um, make a more efficient system. So that's why I, um, then I made this system and I um, changed a few things like the outlets and the inlet pipe and I, um, I just designed it to be more efficient and space wise because this is also easier to build because you don't have to go up and down you just go a gradual slope all the way around until it goes down to the outlet pipe and back to the pond. I moved all my cabbages that were in that system into this system just because I just think this is a more productive system and eventually I'm going to just break that system down and convert it over to the system. They are the same system, they just they're different design. That's still an NFT system and this is also still an NFT system. This system just also takes a lot more plants than that system. Since our last video, my cabbages have also grown quite a lot. You can also see their roots have grown a substantial amount. And I have just started seeds for my next few cups that I have along here. I'm going to do Chinese cabbage and um, just normal cabbage. I'm also doing an experiment to see if I can grow um, go Cape gooseberries in it. And so far it's proven to be working because you can actually see the roots coming through and it's popping out a whole lot of new leaves. That's it for this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, share and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.